EV charging times have been improving with many new EVs accepting 60 amps of current or more from home AC Level 2 charging stations. Until recently, that meant shelling out $500 or more dollars to get that much power. But those prices are coming down. This week I'm reviewing two products from a young company named Dalar. It recently launched a 48 amp Wi-Fi AC level 2 charging solution which can charge up to speeds of 11 kilowatts per hour and this J-plug to Tesla destination charger adapter. To put that charging speed into perspective, that's the maximum AC current this 2022 Ford Mustang Mach-E can accept. For EV newbies, of course the Mach-E and other EVs can charge much quicker at DC fast chargers like Electrify America and others. I plugged in the Delar to a friend's NEMA 1450 50 amp circuit and sure enough when I plugged it into my Mustang Mach-E outside it quickly ramped up to 11.3 kilowatts. Now a quick safety note. Just know you should never exceed 80% of your circuit's amperage. So for the tests that I did, I didn't have access to a 60 amp circuit. So what I did, I ran it at 48 amps on the 50 amp circuit just long enough to verify the manufacturer's claim and get a top speed rating. But if you plan on using this at 48 amps, make sure you have a 60 amp circuit. I've got a 30 amp circuit, but the good news is the charger will step down to whatever U.S. household circuit size you have via a press of a button. However, when doing that, you'll also probably need an adapter, which Dalar and other retailers sell. So even with my older home's 30 amp circuit, I'm seeing 5.7 kilowatts with the mode set at 24 amps. If you haven't priced a 60 amp charger before, here's a quick comparison. Ford sells one for my Mach-E. At the time of this video's recording, it costs $799. By comparison, the Delar costs $349. The Ford unit is hardwired while the Delar is portable. The Delar is also Wi-Fi enabled, so it will work with your smartphone or computer, showing you charging stats at a glance. It also has a timer function to take advantage of off-peak charging discounts. For example, here in Jacksonville, my utility offers a discount to charge between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. Most EVs have built-in timer functions, but this gives you added flexibility. The Delar's timer function is pretty basic. It lets you set how many hours it will charge the EV and when you want charging to start. But that's it. You can't get fancy with things like days of the week. If you're using the timer function and you need to charge right away, you can just select Start Now. You can also set how many hours you want it to charge by using the unit's right timer button. The left button cycles through the amp settings. One note about this unit's Wi-Fi feature, it creates a local Wi-Fi zone, which means the smartphone commands will only work within range of the charger's Wi-Fi. There's no app, instead it's set up to operate as a local web page. While an internet-based app would be more versatile, Dalar's solution gets the job done. And when you're away from home, just about all EVs these days come with their own apps for checking your car or motorcycle's charging progress remotely. The charger appears to be well built and never got hot to the touch at either the cabling or the controller box during my time testing it. The Delar has UL listed 600 volt cabling. It includes dual temperature control sensors at the NEMA 1450 socket and in the control box along with over and under voltage protection. It comes with directions, a storage bag, mounting hardware, and a thick 25-foot cable that should reach just about anywhere in most two-car garages. It's also portable enough to take with you if you're traveling somewhere with a NEMA 1450 outlet. I wouldn't recommend mounting this charger outdoors, but it does have an IP67 water resistance rating, so if you get stuck charging somewhere in the rain once in a while, it should be okay. Speaking of charging on the go, Delar also sells J-Plug to NACS AC adapters that enables all J1772 compliant EVs to fill up at Tesla destination chargers. The nice thing about this adapter is its small size. As an EV motorcyclist, I really appreciate the fact that I can just drop it in my storage compartment and I've got plenty of room to spare. 
To use it, you just grab your Tesla charger and you plug in your adapter and you come over to your EV and plug it right in and you're set. Now one quick note for you EV newbies, this adapter will only work at AC powered Tesla destination chargers. It will not work at DC powered Tesla superchargers. Tesla destination chargers are often found at hotels like this one and area attractions. You'll find links to the products mentioned in the description field of this video and in the post at evrider.tv. Delar provided EV Rider with review units of the charger and adapter featured in this video, but did not have any editorial input into this video's production, nor did it see an advanced copy of the video. EV Rider's editorial policy regarding review units is linked in the description of this video on YouTube and in the story at evrider.tv for anyone that would like to review it. If you found this episode of EV Rider useful, I hope you'll give it a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can bring you more adventures in EV motoring and occasional reviews like this one. We'll see you again soon.